What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome to Mess with Gustin. I am Gustin Mapala. Today, let's have a look at question four, November 2020. It was a function question. Uh, it had 4.1 and 4.2. We are going to start with part one. We will be dealing only with 4.1. What is given there? We have given a um, hyperbola. They want us to find the line of asymptote, determine uh, also the axis of symmetry as well. And therefore, also, they would like us to sketch the graph. Easy, straightforward. If you know the basics, if you don't know the basics, please watch our video on functions where we summarize everything that is critical for you to know. Right, okay, let's go ahead. Uh, deal with the 4.1.1, right? Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, let me go back here. Okay, right, great stuff. So now let's come here and deal with 4.1.1, all right? 4.1.1 okay it says that write down the equation of the asymptotes of h okay so we know from the general formula that if the formula is given like this the equation comes like this as this one here uh, minus p plus q all right so in this case the said line of asymptotes would be Q, p and q so in this instance on this equation as it is now the line of asymptotes would be would have to be a uh, one is two two okay and there goes are your two marks line of asymptote is p and q uh, if p was positive here therefore it will be negative because now p is negative one therefore it becomes a positive one when you have to put in s n asymptotes all right okay great stuff so now let's um come ahead what are they saying here they said determine the equation of the axis of symmetry of h that has a negative gradient all right great stuff negative gradient axis of symmetry they are referring to a straight line all right okay so if it has got a negative gradient uh what do we do with the negative gradient we can just say okay we choose that the gradient let the gradient be negative one because this is where a gra negative gradient if it's positive or negative so we start with a negative one so therefore a point in this graph we can choose any point but for now we can choose the point of axis of symmetry because we've already calculated it, our x is one therefore our y is two All right so we know the equation of a straight line is y minus y1 is equals to gradient x minus x1. All right. So we already know, we already know um, this formula is there in your formula sheet, guys. So therefore, we're going to see minus 2 minus 1 and then x minus 1. Okay. Therefore, we do the algebra and multiply everything throughout. Therefore, we are going to get y is equal to minus x uh, plus 1. Then we take this 2 to the other side. Take this 2 to the other side is going to give us positive 2. Therefore, this gives us a negative x plus 3. It's our equation of a symmetry. Exists of symmetry for this uh, parabola. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and do 4.3 on this part one. Do 4.3, let me see. Let me do 4.3. Oh, okay, excuse me, guys. Looks like I'm having a technical error here. Okay. All right, there you go, 4.3, there you go. Okay, great stuff. So now, when we come to 4.3, they are asking us to sketch Sketch the graph of H showing the asymptotes and the intercept with the axis. Okay, so 4.1.3, the given equation is f of x is equal to minus 3 all over x minus 1 uh, plus 2. Okay, am I right? Yes, yes. Okay, so let's have a look at here. Uh, we, we are going to look for the x intercept rather because they have required us to check all the insert tabs we get it when y is equal to zero okay in this case that's our y there 
so we're gonna have to solve so if this is zero it's equals to minus three all over x minus one plus two okay so the only thing we need to do here is to solve for x okay we're gonna take negative two this side therefore you solve for x right take negative two that side then you can do the algebra minus three x minus one then you do the cross multiply then you're going to have minus three is going to be minus two x plus plus am i right yes yeah plus uh, two then then you're going to take this to that side is going to give you minus five minus three minus two is equals to two x divided everything by minus two there therefore our x value should therefore be positive 5 over 2 which is our x intercept therefore we also need to come here and calculate also the y intercept y intercept we are gonna get it when x is equals to 0 therefore if you put x is equals to 0 in our equation here we should be able let me see what you go. we're going to get here. 0 minus 1 plus 2 is equal to. Uh, let me see. Punch this in our calculator. We should be able to get 5. Okay. So 5. All right. Great stuff. Okay. What else do we need? We also need the line of asymptotes. Line of asymptotes. We already know that uh, it's x is equal to 1. Therefore, y is equal to 2. This is our line of asymptotes. So now we can go ahead and then, then we draw our graph there. Oh, I don't know if a ruler, guys. Excuse my lines. Just going to try to make it as, uh, as possible as I can. Okay. All right, uh, line of asymptotes, uh, we know that it, x is going to be 1. There you go, it's 1. Then here is going to be 2. Going to be 2. This is 2, therefore this is 1. Okay, and then what else do we need? We also need the x-intercept. x-intercept is uh, 5 over 2. So our 5 over 2, it's somewhere there, 5 over 2. Therefore, our y-intercept is 5, it's somewhere there. Okay, great stuff. Okay, this is how our graph would look like. Now let's draw the graph. I'm going to draw the graph now. Here we go. So our graph is a hyperbola, so it's going to look like that. will never touch the asymptote but it can safely approach it but it will never touch the line of asymptotes okay and then we know that here it's y and therefore here it's your x-axis okay and that's how we would deal with a question like this one ladies and gentlemen that was uh, part one of uh, 2020 question for november please stay tuned and make sure that you watch the rest of this question as we will continuously uh, do the pass papers and see you on the next upload where we'll be doing part two of question four, November 2020. I am Gustin Mapala. See you on the next upload.